Oh, <laughs> this is this is a Velvet song through and through. Um, I'll keep saying it. I've been saying it forever. Velvet is my red velvet. I mean, all of it's my red velvet, obviously. But velvet is my favorite red red red. red, red I can't even speak. Red velvet. Um, yeah, the, the velvet part is the ah. Uh, <laughs> this is heaven. The song is heaven. Welcome to my palace, champagne in your chalice. Even I'm not single, follow me. Tell that a voice so we can to deep, rolling around the world. Hello, everyone. What is going on? My name is Zanubi Warrior, and welcome back to my K pop reaction channel. And today, we are going to be finishing up the Reva Festival 2022 Feel My Rhythm. Uh, I'm sorry, I know I'm what, two days late now? Three days late? No, it's two days. Uh, on this, but, uh, there was a surprise twice song, and then a surprise Itzy song, and then I streamed, and then I felt too sick to do anything yesterday. So, that's basically what I've been doing since I reacted to this, was laying in bed, reacting to twice, reacting to Itzy, streaming, and then laying in bed again, and now we're here. So, apologies, a couple days late. I'm super excited to get into this, though. Uh, Beg For Me is incredible. Beg For Me is mind-blowing. Feel My Rhythm is great. I absolutely loved it. Rainbow Halo, I'm still on the fence on. I still barely liked it, I'd say. But I'm obsessed with Beg For Me. Obsessed with it. Um, but yeah, this video is obviously going to be uh, Bamboleo, or B Bamboleo, Good, Bad, and Ugly, and In My Dreams. I've seen a lot of hype for In My Dreams, and I believe it's the B-side they're going to be promoting on music shows. Which is kind of rare that it's like track number six in an album is the one that you're promoting. Personally, I was hoping for Beg For Me, but then again, I haven't heard In My Dreams. So maybe In My Dreams will be my favorite, and I'll be super happy. I don't know. Um, but, uh, well, I'll be super happy because it's new Red Velvet music. Anyways. Uh, Bambaleo. Ooh. Ooh. Is this going to be kind of smooth? Some vocals fading in the back again. Ooh. Almost kind of a smooth, like, dance hall groovy sound. Soji is destroying me right now, by the way. This whole era. Fan cams, pictures, fits, MV, everything. She's just rolling me. As if I'm possessed, I dance. Ooh, that chorus is so high. I can't even, I, I have to squeak it to get up there. That's so high. That's actually a really high pitched chorus. This part is really nice. I'm not in love with the song yet. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's not bad. Nothing is like uh, aggressively standing out as something I dislike. Other than the mixing, the vocals are maybe lower than I would prefer, but that could be the way YouTube compression messes up the audio. So before I commit to that mixing rant, um, I will check the Spotify audio. But I, I want to save that for the end. Let's let's go through the song with the lyric video and then we'll check the mixing at the end because I do wonder if that's what it is or if the mixing just has the vocals low. Um, which would be fine, it's just not to my taste, is all. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Joy's voice is so pretty. I'm shocked at how high this chorus is. Ooh. I like that we're bringing in that, like, distorted guitar now. I mean, it's new material. <laughs> this makes me very happy. <laughs> this makes me very happy. Really cool way to switch the song up. Really cool way to switch the song up. Okay! I'm liking the song more! The back half of the song is way better for me, for sure. Here I'm starting to I'm starting to really, really like some things. Wendy's almost, in, she's almost up in that whistle range, man. As a matter the top, hoo-ha, might be actually be a whistle. Love the guitar still. Ooh. Oh, and the way Joy closes. Wow. Okay. I need to check the mixing. I need to know if it's YouTube being weird, or if it's just mixing where the vocals are kind of quiet. Because, like, this part they're not, right? This part, everything's understated. Because it does kind of change how I feel about the song. So, I do think the vocals are quiet in the mix, but I think with, um, with a better bit rate, without the YouTube compression, I think I can hear the vocals way better, even though they're quieter. So my, my initial criticism of the song, which is like the vocals are super quiet, I think is exacerbated by the poor audio quality that YouTube videos are capped at. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say I like this one. It's another, like, uh, if, let me put it this way. If the back half of the song wasn't so incredible, I would maybe put a meh on this. But I, I, I like this more than Rainbow Halo, which I tentatively liked. Because I really, really like how the song finishes. And just when I was about to say it's getting stale, they bring in this guitar, this instrumental break, and then we get this crazy, uh, like, ascending key swap section. And this is just when I was starting to say... Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 the chromatics. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I love it so much. So the end of the song, I think, from like when they bring this guitar in, gets really interesting. From like, maybe like the 210 mark. From like 210 to the end of the song is really, 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 really good. Um, and like I said, the kind of quieter mixing stuff that I had some issues with on the YouTube upload isn't really a factor here. So I think 
I mean, it is quieter, but I th I can hear it just fine. It's not too quiet to the point where I think it'll be a sticking point for me not liking the song. So we're going to give it a yes and give it a like, but it is towards the bottom of the track ranking. I already, I'd say I like it more than Rainbow Halo and less than the other two B-sides I've heard so far. Or less than the other two songs. Um, so... Yeah, uh, not my favorite, but the end of that song is super cool. Super, super cool. Absolutely love it. Let's go into Good, Bad, Ugly. Let's go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is like a fun play off of what would be normal R&B type chords where the piano is not quite what you would expect it to be but you can hear what your brain wants it to be like stereotypically um, yep yep I'm hearing this I'm feeling this I'm hearing this yeah I mean I am but how dare you <laughs> that's <laughs> Joy's trying to hang on. She's trying to hang on to that bias spot, dude. Sulky's doing the most, but I think we good. Between this and the... I almost called it Pose Me, Beg For Me stuff. Oh, that tasty! Oh, one more time, indulge me as I listen to this taste it from Joy, dude. That's... Ah. Oh! I, I really, I really like this immediately. I really like this immediately. Life is a box of chocolates. Oh, the chords, the ramp is. Oh. Love that descending, that fall. Ah. Oh. oh yeah, this one is great. This is great. <laughs> this is this is a velvet song through and through. Um, I'll keep saying it. I've been saying it forever. Velvet is my red velvet. I mean, all of it's my red velvet, obviously. But velvet is my favorite red red velvet. I can't even speak. Red velvet. Um, yeah, the, the velvet part is the ah. Uh, <laughs> this is heaven. This song is heaven. <laughs> Oh, the swell. We're building tempo. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, it went down even. I thought we were just going to get the bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. But it went bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, so it makes me so see little things like that make me so happy. And most people wouldn't care if that repeated. But, like, it makes me so happy that it's different the second time. So unreasonably, unbelievably happy that it's different the second time. Like, it makes me like the song 10% more almost. Just that one little difference. It's just, like, the pacing is so much better when you do stuff like that. It makes me so... It makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. Dun, dun, dun. Ah! Oh, I 
love Red Velvet so much. Ah, <laughs> uh, their group vocals are so nice. And Joy is doing illegal things on this song. Every day I just love me. Ooh! Ah, nice ending. Okay, well, that's the end, right? Yeah. This one, immediately. I don't know if I like, I almost want to say immediately my favorite. I think because I'm a simp. And Beg For Me is such a get out of my way, I'm Red Velvet and I'm going to step on your throat. I think the energy of that might make me like it slightly more. But I don't know. Just musically, if I didn't know the lyrics, I would probably say this is my favorite. As much as I love Beg For Me. Um, but I'm going to say Beg For Me is my favorite still because it just... Listen. <laughs> listen. Read that song. Um... But uh, Good, Bad, and Ugly is incredible. Musically, it's my favorite on this album. More so than Feel My Rhythm, even. Um, or Beg For Me, which was my favorite. This one is great. It's going in the rotation. It's going in Yes K-Pop. Yes, 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 yes. I love it immediately. I love it so much. So many switch-ups. The uh, chords are really, really nice. The piano is insane. The vocals are nice. The freaking the swell. I think Solgi has this really beautiful swell at one point. We have crazy harmonies. We got cool group vocals that are just so tight, so clean. Um, yeah, this this is this type of song tends to be my favorite Red Velvet song. Period. Um, and I think this one will be no exception. Yeah. Uh, if I can ever get over some of the things they say in Veg for me, then this will probably end up being my favorite, but I don't know. But it's certainly either tied or, like, right below Beg for me. This is incredible. This is so good. And last, but uh, apparently not least, because this is the one everyone's been ranting about, uh, we have In My Dreams. So let's go, let's, uh, last song of the album, let's go, let's go. That's cool already. So far, Ooh, I like the like snapshot of the echo. Okay, that's cool. Ah, cool. Cool cut to just Solgi's voice there. Ooh, that just... That's cool. I love that float. It's okay. It's okay. So good. I like this. I actually think I I'm gonna end up liking this less than Apparently everyone, but I like it. It's good. I Really like the stuff they're doing with the snares and like the crash cymbals here With the melody and the almost music boxy piano, that's cool It's 
strings creeping back in. These these strings are really nice too. Oh. I do love a good cello. I do love a good cello and I do love good string bass and I hear both of them. So New material! We got those descending. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Woo. Wendy, go off! Go off! The vocal goddess? Is this outro or are we going to another section? Is what I can't tell. It's outro. I want to hear the end part with Wendy again. The song is good. It's really good. Oh, Wendy absolutely goes off though. Yeah, I like this song. I like it. I, I would even... Do I love it? I don't know if I'd even say I love it. I really like it. It's probably... It's my third favorite on the album. Um, I... Beg For Me is still my favorite. And Good, Bad, and Ugly is right behind that. This, I think, jumps Feel My Rhythm to be my third favorite. Um, I do like it a lot. I love the strings. There's switch-ups at the end where they have those descending ahs in the chorus. But I do think this was maybe the most repetitive of the songs on this album. Um, and maybe that's... Look, you guys know I, I like ranted and raved for like five minutes about that one piano note being different in Good, Bad, and Ugly. So obviously things not being exactly repeated uh, means a lot more to me than it does to most people. <laughs> Most people, it's fine, right? But uh, for whatever reason, I don't know. Like, there's like a certain amount of repetitions. I can hear something for me to absolutely love it. And I, I do think In My Dreams suffers from that a little bit. Um, I think it's very good. It's not my favorite. It's my third favorite. Um... And I feel my rhythm is still maybe growing, so it could end up being that In My Dreams is my fourth favorite. But it is a good song. I don't want you to think I'm saying it's not a good song. It is a good song, the vocals are good, the strings are great. You guys know I ranked and rave about strings. I guess my expectations were just unfairly set because I saw people saying, like, Song of the Year, like, best song on the album by far, it's not even close, like... And uh, to me it's good. It's great, even. Hey look, another thumbnail picture. It's good, it's great even. It's not, like I said, it's it's probably my top three, but like there's a chance that Feel My Rhythm ends up being my third favorite. So if there's a chance it's not even top three for me. Um, which is not to say it's bad, it's good. But uh we're gonna we're gonna have co-favorites on this song on this album, okay? Uh if those of you who've never seen me review an album <laughs> What we do is green is for my absolute favorite. Okay, green circle means it's my favorite song on the album. Wow, I have two of them. I have two of them. How am I supposed to pick between Beg for Me and Good, Bad, and Ugly? I won't. I refuse. They're both my favorite. And we'll give a special note to In My Dreams, a little dot, and a little dot for Feel My Rhythm because they're both almost my third favorite. Um, Bombaleo, we're gonna give. So there's no red pen required because there's no skips. There's no blue pen required because there's not really a meh, okay? We're not going to cross anything out. We're not saying meh. There's no... Nothing that I, like, don't like. I will give little blue mark to Rainbow Halo. Just to say, hey, you're not a meh, but you were almost a meh. Um, 
There's things in that song I don't like. I'm going to give a little blue dot to Bombaleo. These are my two least favorite songs. Uh, if I had to rank the songs one through six, it would be uh, Beg For Me, Good, Bad, and Ugly, In My Dreams, Feel My Rhythm, Bombaleo, Rainbow Halo. So that would be my ranking. Um, yeah, I, I really, 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 really like Good, Bad, and Ugly and Beg For Me. Really, 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 really like them both. Um, really like Feel My Rhythm, really like In My Dreams. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, that's where I sit on it. So let me know in the comments how my list compares to yours. What's your ranking so far? Obviously, these can change over time, but this is my initial kind of feelings after listening to this album for the first time. So thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and please remember to stay nippy. Thank you so much to everyone who's chosen to support me this month on Patreon with special appreciation going to Sosko Reacts, Jalen Raybon, Jyoti Sharma, Muse Ribbons, 42 Ariadna, Atsushi Ray H, Wookbook, Daniel Reigns, Mushroomy, and Lucky7Gen. 